back to the channel, imagine walking into a room full of people and that room gets quiet instantly and all eyes are on you. Well, I guess we can say that's what happened with singer Rihanna during this year's New York Fashion Week. Rihanna walked into the Alaya runway show during this week's New York Fashion Week and while most should have been focused on her fashion, they were focused in on her seemingly ignoring fashion icon Naomi Campbell. Now, yes, in this video, you can see Rihanna acknowledging and hugging Vogue editor-in-chief Edward Aninful, who was sitting right next to Naomi, but she walked right past Naomi without saying a word or even looking at her. Now, of course, this raised some eyebrows, especially with us knowing that Rihanna and Naomi has had some beef in the past. Yes, Naomi and Rihanna has had this up and down, kind of like a roller coaster relationship that seems to have come to a stop. First speculation of beef between the two was when Rihanna and Naomi were both dating billionaire Hassan Jamil. Now, this was years ago, and they weren't even dating him at the same time, so I'm not really sure why they would have been beefing. First, he was in a relationship with Naomi, and after his breakup with Naomi, he started to date Rihanna. Now, this is what reports say from 2017. This is from DailyMail.com. Shout out to them. It says, according to a source, Campbell, who dated Jamil last year, is angry with Rihanna and Jamil as she, and let's just say dislikes, but it actually says H-A-T-E-S, feeling second place. So I guess Naomi had a problem because she didn't like feeling second place, but that was Jamil's fault. That had nothing to do with Rihanna, so not really sure why Naomi would start something with Rihanna. However, that same year, Naomi had an interview with Andy Cohen, and she sarcastically said that she had no problem with Rihanna. Now, I have to put emphasis on that sarcastic because she was being sarcastic. She put in a little jokey joke, but then she ends up saying, as a black woman, she doesn't want to have a problem with another black woman. Things fine. Okay. <laughs> of course it's fine. <laughs> I'm an actress now, Andy. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and a very good actress, I know. Too. I'm trying to think what the beef could be about. I don't have beef. <clears throat> I have beef, especially with black women that I think are, support, are powerful and out there. We're all in the same thing doing the same struggle. Yeah, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Now, secondly, during the British Fashion Awards back in 2019, I guess Rihanna and Naomi tried to put their beef to the side for the sake of them being on stage and hosting together, but Rihanna could not hold back that side eye to Naomi. While on stage, Naomi decided to ask Rihanna a question, and fans are speculating that question. Still to this day, they're speculating it was, are you high? Yes, Naomi was allegedly asking Rihanna, are you high? Now, Rihanna gave her the most severe side eye I have ever seen. Now, contrary to popular belief, this actually was smart on Brianna's end because Naomi could have been trying to sabotage the singer's reputation. Well, things are no different years later, five years later to be exact, as a fan couldn't help but to notice Rihanna strut right past Naomi during a recent runway event. Now, because Rihanna and Naomi's past beef, of course, fans are going to assume that Rihanna was being shady and dismissive towards Naomi, but I want to introduce a different perspective. Rihanna walked in a room and only greeted one person. Now, this person, Vogue editor, he, he actually decided to stand up and greet Rihanna. He was actually the only person who decided to stand up and greet Rihanna and said anything to Rihanna. Aside from that, there were so many other people that Rihanna didn't necessarily greet, like Diana Ross's daughter, stylist La Roche, and so many others. So it's not like it was just Naomi Campbell there and she was the only person. It was so many other people. So I think people are making a big deal out of this situation. The reality of it all is that Rihanna doesn't have to speak to Naomi if she doesn't want to. The two haven't had the best pass, and instead of being fake, Rihanna kept it real and she moved along. I really think that Rihanna is at this place in her life and in her career where she doesn't really have to talk to the people that she doesn't want to talk to. She's kind of over that phase in her music career where she has to just speak to people just to be nice and just to make sure she's well known in the industry. She doesn't have to do that. She's just keeping it real. She doesn't like you. She won't say anything. It doesn't have to be rolling her eyes it doesn't have to be being fake and phony she's just going to move right along now honestly when I seen this going all over the blogs I really thought that Naomi and Rihanna had gotten into a scuffle the way that people was talking about this the way that it was blowing up on Twitter child the fact that everybody is talking about this I really thought that they had fought 
like I was like okay Naomi and Rihanna got into a fight when I seen both of their names in headlines but the reality of the situation when I read about it when I seen that it was just Rihanna walk past Naomi Campbell I was like hold up I know this is not what everybody is talking about it's not even necessary for it to be blown up the way that it is but I understand everybody wants something to talk about and this is the latest thing that's going on with New York Fashion Week okay now I don't think that Naomi necessarily has a problem with Rihanna this is just my honest opinion yes I'm getting into my opinion at this point it seems like to me from what I read Naomi has always tried to keep it cool with Rihanna and from the videos that I've seen she's always wanted to be up under Rihanna but it kind of seemed like it was fake and phony and Rihanna is just tired of the fake and phoniness and she's like Naomi I don't know what's up with you but I'm not about to be fake with you and I'm about to keep it real and just leave you alone and I think that's Rihanna's choice and that's what she decided to do now Naomi she doesn't have a problem telling anybody where she has a problem with them because obviously with her and Anna Wintour the way that they were going back and forth recently child I was like the shade is real now to end this video off if you guys haven't seen some of these videos from New York Fashion Week I will have it here and plus I will have the video of Anna Wintour and Naomi Campbell going back and forth but I also will have this video of Rihanna walking right past Naomi Campbell now of course I want to know you guys thoughts and opinions I gave you guys my thoughts and opinions about this but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section do you think it's necessary for people to be upset because Rihanna walked past Naomi Campbell do you think that Rihanna should have just at least said something or maybe hugged Naomi Campbell you let me know in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching Room for Tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload and follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end I'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night Everything's meant to work out, the maze meant to work out. It wasn't my choice to have the other lady. I'd much rather have this. So thank you. Um, I have to speak my truth. I've always been on it.